From the Sunbeam School, Bhagwanpur, we have Vikrant Yadav now speaking at this time. Vikrant Yadav, Sunbeam School, Bhagwanpur. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin in the year 1928. Samuel Colt invented the revolver and the world was amazed. Motorola revolutionized the world with the first ever cell phone in the year 1973, and that was of 1 kg. And with every such path-breaking discovery, man felt he had got the contentment that he desired. But no, he wasn't. For today, he thinks of human cloning, sits on a heap of nuclear weapons, and even an Apple iPad doesn't suffice. Good evening, everyone. I'm Vikrant. And I fully oppose the statement, science has provided the contentment that the man desires. On the contrary, I would say that science has taken away all the contentment from man's life and has made him a mechanical zombie pining for more and more. With every scientific invention comes a desire in a man to achieve something more, something better. Is that what you call contentment? Sorry, I call it restless ambition. Mm. Let me touch upon my next contention. My worthy opponents say that science provides the contentment that the man desires. But uh, my lexicon says man means entire humanity. So that means science provides the contentment to the whole of the humanity. So to those friends I would like to ask, did science forget to give contentment to those world poor who struggle for two square meals a day. Yes, I admit that science gave contentment to Thomas Elva Edison when he invented an electric bulb. And it must have given the same to Steve Jobs when he came up with his iPhone. But when you switch on an electric bulb or when you hold an iPhone in your hand, do you feel contented? No, you do not. An electric bulb merely remains an object of utility and an iPhone merely a status symbol. So where is the contentment for the common man? And hence I would suggest that the topic of the debate should rather go like, science provides the contentment that the man does not rather scientists desire. And hence I come to my third and the last attack on the topic of the debate itself. The topic reads, science provides the contentment that the man desires. But I really wonder how. Man is such a complex being and his desires are so varied and heterogeneous that there cannot be one thing on earth that could give him contentment. And most importantly, the widespread social maladies and discontent spread in the society today opens our eyes to the fact that man is far away from contentment of any type. If he is something, he is restless, he is anguished and he is frustrated. And hence, when man is not contented at the first place, the statement that science can provide contentment to man stands null and void altogether. And hence, I rest my case. Thank you. From my left, yes. I just want to ask you a very simple question. You said that uh, science does not fulfill the, desire, uh, the desires of man, but the desires of the scientists. Do you mean to say that scientists are not men? Okay, thanks, thanks for your question. But uh, according to my lexicon, you understand what's the meaning of lexicon? Lexicon means the vocabulary of a person, the understanding of words. So the topic reads, science has achieved the contentment that the man desires. By the word man, we mean a community which encompasses the whole of the humanity and not just a rarefied group of elite or scientists or space researchers. So hence, if an electric bulb or if a space rocket gives a contentment to a man, then it's because, only and only because he made it. How is it going to benefit me? Don't you use it? Sorry? Don't I, you use no, it? No, 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 no. I'm not a billionaire to use a space rocket. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. No. But do you use a pen? Okay, but uh, I guess a common man can, all, can all also make a pen. If I'm not no. wrong, villagers do I'm so. I'm sorry, I am a common woman and I cannot make a pen. I can, I can. I'm, I'm telling you how. Then Meet you me in the dinner, unique. I'll tell you how. Meet me in the dinner. Okay, now we'll keep that for the innovation section tomorrow.
all right? At the moment, let's get on with debating, okay? Uh, APS had a question. Forgotten it? Why are we talking about iPad and inventions of science that are used for the elite class? Why are we not talking with the normal layman mankind so that they can be fed? Why are we, are we always touching the high school? Uh, see, I, I told you, I told you, no? Uh, did science forget to give contentment to those world poor who struggle for two square meals a day? That's what I meant. Where is the contentment for the common man? But to, your, to answer your question, many of our friends mentioned this iPad, this iPhone thing. So I just wanted to reiterate it to, you know, elaborate my point. Nothing else. Thank okay. you. I hope that answers your question. Well, even if it doesn't, you've run out of time. Thank you, Vikrant. Uh, we move now. Please give him a hand. We move.